Hi everyone, congratulations on um, receiving a team kit from one of our generous sponsors with Science Olympiad. And now that you've got this kit, you've got some pieces that you might be curious about um, exactly what to do with them. So I wanted to review what especially was in the catapult kits for both middle, um, elementary school and the middle school division specifically. So you get this whole pile of pipe, okay, it's all saran wrapped together um, for Elementary division, you've got some half inch pipe and one piece of three quarter inch pipe. For our middle school division, you've got some three quarter inch pipe and one piece of one inch pipe. The the strategy behind putting these together is gonna be pretty much the same. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna talk through that. You've also got a bag with some other supplies in it, including a pair of pipe cutters and a, bu and a bunch of connectors. Um, the pipe cutters are definitely adult only use, all right? Um, if you've not used these before, there are some basic directions on the back, but the point being that you ratchet them closed and then from that, um, sorry, let me open that back up again. You put the pipe in, you ratchet it closed and you can cut the pipe to be different lengths. Um, this is definitely, again, adults only um, with, a, with supervision here, um, making sure that uh, no one cuts any appendages off as they're using it, but it makes it a lot easier to cut the PVC. And the reason that we went with the PVC pipe for these is that PVC is pretty cheap. You can get 10 feet of um, PVC for just a couple dollars at a um, convenient or at a hardware store. So if you play around with this and you don't get it quite right and you need another piece, it's not, um, hopefully not too cost prohibitive for someone to go get a piece of PVC to finish this up. Okay, so what you have are four pieces that are the same length. So you have to line up and see what you got, okay? And these are, this is gonna build your base and two of them are gonna go on the ends. You're gonna throw your 90 degree elbows on these. And this design, by the way, there's nothing um, proprietary, super secret, or um, necessarily, this is not the best design. What we're trying to give you is a design that then your students can play with and you can tweak to make it to a, um, a really good design. All right, two of them, you're gonna throw the, the 90 degree elbows on, all right? The other two that are the same length, you're gonna to have to cut in half and put a T on the middle. Okay, so I've already cut them. I feel like a good, you know, tasty chef here from a video. Already got the pieces cut, we're good to go. So you're gonna cut them in half, put this T in the middle. Same thing on the other side. So you end up with a little bit of a rectangle. It's a little bit longer on the sides than it is the front and the back. Okay, so now we've got this rectangle with some T's in the middle. Okay, now into the T's go the other two pieces that are the same size. And the great thing about this PVC, you, know, you can kind of tweak it, you can mess around with it. Um, then You've got a piece of pipe, oops, and then on, th on the tops of these two pieces go your 45s. So they're not bent quite as much, 45 degree angles instead of 90, okay? And then in the middle of that goes this piece like this. Now, what you're gonna find is that they don't quite fit together. We, um, we gave you extra so that you could play around with what, it, what design you wanted, how high you wanted things to be. Remember that when you we're not quite there, but when you have it in the ready to launch position, it can only be 60 centimeters tall. So you're gonna have to adjust some pieces of this so that no matter where you measure it, like a 60 centimeter cube could fit on top of this. In the middle, whether if you're division A, it's a three quarter inch cross. If it's if you're division B or C, it's a one inch cross, is gonna go in this center piece. And again, like I said, mine is not gonna quite fit together because I don't wanna cut these. This is somebody's kit that I've, um, I've stolen for a second. You're gonna have this bigger piece of pipe. Okay, it's, it's a size bigger than the whole rest and you're gonna have to cut it. And it might not be in the center. You're gonna have, wanna think about that. But when you cut it, now it 
again, think about it, it will swing freely around this middle piece, all right? And that makes a really simple um, start to a catapult. These are definitely too long. You're gonna want this to come down and attach to the base. And we've given you a couple of things that might help with that. I think I have some here that are a little shorter. So I can kind of show this. And if you decide to stick with PVC as your final design and you're feeling really good about what you what you've got, then um, you might want to get some PVC glue, if you have some, and kind of make it a little more permanent, but you don't have to. Okay, so mine, mine still aren't quite right. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go, go like this so I can show you. But um, inside your bag, you also have some hooks. So for all three designs um, in all divisions, you've got to be away from your catapult or your trebuchet if you're in division C whenever you launch it. So you've got to have a way to pull a string and have this launch. So you might use a gate hook. Okay, and so everyone's got a gate hook of some sort in there where you screw one piece into, sorry, as I look, into the base and the other piece onto the arm so that when you pull out when you pull the hook with a piece of string, this will launch, okay? Um, I, we also included a couple other kinds of eye hooks that look like this. So if you had a, a pencil and you put one on the arm and two on the base, then when you line them up, so you have these, they would, they would be lined up like this with a pencil in the middle or a dowel rod or anything else like a stick. Okay, and then your your string is on that, and then when you pull it out, this one's gonna launch up into the air, right? And then, then your weights go on the other side. So if you're division B and C, you've got counterweights out here on the other side. If you're division A, you've got um, some rubber bands. Now, this may not be the design you want at all. Um, you, again, are allowed to pick any design you want. We were just trying to supply you with some things that would make a catapult to get you started. Um, division A, if you've got connects, if you got those, there are ways to make this. If, um, maybe you saw it if you did the coach's clinic. I have, sorry, I've got one sitting right here. Okay, um, you could make a cat. You could make your marshmallow catapult out of connects, and it will fling a marshmallow quite far in a pretty simple design. Okay, and this um, I went through a little bit about how to make this in the coach's clinic, but. You just, this was got some rubber bands attached to the end, um, and you're gonna, that would have a way to fling forward a marshmallow, okay? And uh, the same thing can be true out of this um, PVC pipe. So it might just be a good concept design. It might be that you end up using something else for your final design. You can use wood, you can use connects, you can use um, catapults, there's, or I mean, PVC, but there's lots of other things to go with. Remember that what we did not include in this um, is a base. So you need somehow to, to make this stay steady on the ground. You're not gonna want it sliding around and you can't hold it while you're launching it. Um, it could be that you add some weights to it, almost like sandbags, I wouldn't say sand, but um, something like that. You can attach it to a piece of wood um, or something else heavy. Just remember that whatever it is, when you bring it into the competition, it needs to be on, it could be on an old towel or a piece of fabric or a shelf liner, something that, a piece of cardboard, something that will not scratch a gym floor. So we're not gonna let you check it in in any of these places if if, a, um, if there's a potential that it could scratch a gym floor because that's definitely something that we don't wanna do, all right? So, uh, so you're gonna wanna adjust these heights so that you can get a good solid design across the middle that this will string freely if that's what you decide to do with it. Um, you can make this, you know, you can readjust the size to be anything you want it to be. It can't be bigger than 60, but there's no minimum requirements. So if it has to get a lot smaller in order for you to um, make it work, you can do that. We've included some rubber bands, so that'll give you your tension back here. So you're, you'll put your rubber bands down here, you'll pull back this way, and then as you release, it will fling up in the air and it'll shoot, you know, it'll throw your Marshmallow if you're Division A, your tennis balls and your racquetballs if you're Division B and Division C, you've got even a few more options beyond that. So 
we did not include anything that's gonna, you're gonna need some sort of um, cup or a holder up here that you can, um, oh, that'll hold the ball or the marshmallow. Um, so like something, you know, a, a plastic cup. Um, the great, the easiest thing to do with these is to drill a couple small starter holes um, into the PVC. You wanna, if you're gonna drill a hole, it needs to be smaller than the screw that you're trying to put in or the bolt that you're trying, to, you know, that you're trying to get in so you have a little bit of tension to hold it there. Um, and you can always add some glue around that as well to help stabilize it if you need to. So that's what you do with these pieces that are in your kit. Um, hopefully the rest are pretty self-explanatory, but we thought that maybe um, you would need to see a bit of a design in order to build this. So we'll post this so you have access to it. Um, and I will also put a picture at the end of this video so you have it um, and or I'll post it on the resource page as well as just a basic design so that you can get started with your catapults. Good luck this season.